So today I'm finally getting around to updating my tutorial on the Bombay Artillery. And if you don't know what a Bombay Artillery is, it's a piston accelerated Bombay that rather than simply dispensing the bombs, fires them at a decent distance depending on the setup. Now with the Pioneers update, they changed some of the timings. So there's a couple of tweaks, but I'm going to go through the entire system in and out and how to build it from scratch. Plus, I'll show you how to build more complex versions where you can fire many more bombs at once. Like that. So, let's get to it. So here's the basic turret we're going to be putting it on. We're going to start by grabbing our pistons. And we're going to have it two sets long in the front, one set long in the back. We could have longer or shorter, but this is a nice middle range. It doesn't have to shoot too far. Then we'll grab the Bombay, put that in the front, then we're going to grab a weight block, a 30 kilogram, for this particular setup anyways, and we'll attach those with flat connectors. Next, we'll grab our logic blocks. The first one is an accumulator. Then a NOR gate. Then four OR gates. That's all the pieces we need to make this function. So we'll start with the configuration now. We'll select all of our pistons. Open the configurator. And we're going to clear both their inputs. Bring the speed to negative 100. The start position to zero. And click auto reset on. Yep. Then for the bomb bay, all we have to do is clear the input. We no longer have to put a delay in like the old version. Next we'll do the logic pieces, and we'll start with the accumulator. So we'll go into the configurator, and we're going to set the green input to our firing button, which I'm going to use X. We're going to set the minimum to zero. which can take a second with the uh, big slider. The maximum to 4.4. And a scale of 60. And we're going to attach that to all four of our OR gates. Next, we're going to Take our NOR gate and bring the output to negative 0.1 and attach that to the accumulator. And what this is, is our safety mechanism. It's designed to uh, try to keep the cannon firing for the entire duration that the bombs are produced by the bomb bay and that way it doesn't drop any bombs on our feet. It should launch all four of them successfully, even if you let your finger off the trigger too soon. But anyways, continuing on, we're going to select all four of the OR gates, where we're going to bring their output to negative one, and put a duration of 0.1.
and for the first one, we have a delay of 0.0. Then the second one, we give it a delay of 0.27. The third one, we give it a delay of 0.52. And the last one, we give a delay of 0.78. And let me double check that. Yep. 0 0.0, 0 0.27, 0 0.52, and 0.78. Then we'll take all four of the OR gates and attach them to our pistons as well as the bomb bay itself. Which, let me double check, yep. And now, I believe it should be good to fire. And it's that simple to make just a single one. Pretty straightforward. And if I just, instead of holding the button down like I have been the last couple of firings, if I just tap it real quick, it still continues to fire, and you might be able to see the accumulator. Oh, it failed that time. I tapped it as, as lightly as I could and it made it fail, but... You can see the accumulator charges up, and then it quickly decreases, and what is bouncing around over here. Let's destroy that. I missed. Well, it's gone. Next, I'll show you how to chain multiple bomb bays together into the same weapon to make it more powerful. So now, what I'm going to do is I'll take these flat connectors off. Grab another bomb bay. And we're going to need a bunch more logic blocks. We'll need another accumulator. And we'll need five ore gates. Which I'm actually going to I'm going to put one of them up here, just to remind you that it's separate. Because we're going to have four for the main timing as usual, and then this one is going to be the, the delay between when these two bomb bays start. So, what we're going to do first is that. So we're going to put our firing button on the green input of this OR gate, and we're going to select set a delay of 0.12 which is approximately an eighth of a second we we can't get closer it's either one side or the other of it but anyways we're going to connect that to our accumulator our uh, new accumulator the new accumulator is set up in exactly as before except it doesn't get the firing input because that's already taken care of with the delay switch but it gets the minimum of zero, a maximum of 4.4, and a scale of 60. We attach it to all the OR gates. Then we select all the OR gates bring their outputs to negative 1, give them a duration of 0.1, and then set their delays. 0, 0.0 on the first, 0, 0.27 on the second, 0, 0.52 on, on the third, and 0 0.77 or 78 
on the uh, last one. And then select all four of those. And we're going to hook them up to the pistons. And only the new bomb bay, which we still have to take its input off. And now... Oh, we didn't change our counterweight, so it's kind of thrashing us about a bit. And what did I do? Oh, we did not connect our NOR gate to the new accumulator. We only need the one OR gate or the one NOR gate in order to reset all of our accumulators, but we have to remember to actually attach them. <laughs> okay, so now it should fire the first time. Then let it recharge. There we go. And then to change the counterweight, we added more weight up here, so we have to add more weight on the back. And I'm just going to try swapping the 30 kilogram for the 50 kilogram. See if that balances that out better. That's quite a bit better. It's not disrupting the accuracy as much. And all you have to do to add, say, three or four chained into here is to, of course, add the extra bomb bays, add the extra logic, and then just do the timings. So if you had four, you would delay it by the first row you would delay by uh, 0 0.06, then your second row you would delay by the 0 0.12, and the third row you would delay by 0 0.18. And that's how you get something like... This one I'll show you. Actually... Hold on, let me show you guys... The other one. So here's the uh, old tried and true Mark 13 system. And here's what I was mentioning about the rows and the timings. So you can see I've got them color coded here. So the first one that fires doesn't have any delay and it has a NOR gate over the top of it. Then the second one, the second row here, has a delay of 0 0.06 on the OR gate that triggers the accumulator. Then the next one has the delay of 0 0.12. And the last one has the delay of 0.18. So that's approximately a sixteenth of a second delay between each of the sets. And that fires like that, although without any uh, assistance on it, it kind of shoots itself in the foot. But I can show you the better version. Which actually, I just realized I changed out of my build slot accidentally. So I need to put it back in there anyways. Might as well show you guys while I'm doing it. So here's the Mark 13s on their actual platform. And they do have a secondary function with the uh, box cannon, but I already have a tutorial on that and that hasn't changed in the recent update so I'm not going to cover it right now. But just know that you can expand your uh, piston accelerated system to include other weapons than just the bomb bays. You'll just have to learn a little bit more of the uh, logic systems in order to have the switching me method. But yeah, that's the ins and outs of making bomb bay artillery cannons.
I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye now. PlayStation.